Hi, today I'm going to show you how to insert a table of contents into your document. The first thing I'm going to do is to go up to view and multiple pages. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom right and reduce the size of my document so that I can see all the pages in my document. So what I want to do is insert a table of contents between this cover page here and this first page here. But to ensure that all my contents have page numbers, I'm firstly going to insert page numbers. So I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to go across to page numbers, go down to page numbers. I'd like my page number to be at the bottom of the page and I'm going to go for the center. And I'm not going to check the first page because I don't want my page number on my cover page. Press OK. And now you can see page numbers come up on each page. You can go in and format these page numbers by double clicking on the page number. And then you can go up to home and then you can play around with the font sizes and the font itself. Then double click into the main document and then you can now clearly see your page numbers. The next thing I want to do is to insert my table of content. So I'm going to click on my cover page, I'm going to go up to insert and page break. Now I have my clear page for my table of content. Now in order to get all of these titles into the table, we have to go up to home and then we have this band of options up here. But the ones we're specifically interested in is heading one, two and three. We won't be using heading three today, but you'll see the idea by using heading one and two how you could use heading three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my document, I'm going to highlight the first title, then I'm going to press the command or control key on my keyboard and continue to highlight each of my main headings. Notice I'm only going to highlight the main headings and not the subheadings. Once you've highlighted all of your main headings, you can then go up and click heading one. What you'll now notice is that the font, font size and font color has changed, but your headings are all still highlighted. So whilst they're highlighted, you can go back to your font options. I'm gonna click on automatic to turn them back to black. I'm going to increase the size of them, and then I'm gonna go back down to Arial and change their font. The second thing I'm going to do is to then continue on highlighting all of my subheadings which are in purple. Okay, now I'm going to go up and select heading 2. Again you'll see that the font and the font size and colour have changed. So I'm going to go back up to my font options, click automatic to change it, change it back to black. And I'm going to increase the size slightly and then go down to Arial. Now, this is where the magic happens. If I now go up to the References tab and I go to Table of Content, I'm simply going to click on the first classic table, but you can choose whichever table you like out of the options. And you'll see that all of your main headings under heading that we changed as heading one will come up as your main headings, and then heading two will come up as your subheadings and all the page numbers will correlate to where your titles are found. Now you can go, this will be um, updated as you go through your document and change various things. So I'm going to take out these images. If I've changed my mind and then I'm just going to pull up my headings so they're at the top of my page, make any other adjustments. 
that's all fine. Just going to move these up and down just to show you how this can be updated. Okay, so now I've updated my document, then the page numbers have changed for the various titles. So if I simply click on my table of contents and then I click on this arrow, update table, then that table will be updated with all the correct page numbers. So that's how to edit your table of content. Now you can see I have a cover page, a table of content and the rest of my document. If you do decide that you want to change your table of content to a slightly different design, simply double click, go to ta table of content, simply go down to the one that you choose and it will change. And you can do this at any point during your editing process. I hope that's helped you. If you do like this video, please subscribe and have a great day.